Hey everyone, my name is Karsten Neiswender. I'm a junior criminology major here at West Virginia University, and I'm also actively involved in the Air Force ROTC program. We are all currently operating in the most defining years of our lives. Usually what we choose to do now dictates a good bit of what our future will look like. With that comes very much work and stress. We all have homework, papers, quizzes, tests, and our personal lives to try to balance. For the most part, it feels like if we mess up at any one of these things, the pressure of the world is going to collapse on us. First, I want to inform you, mistakes are not the end of the world. We are all going to mess up at school, mess up at our jobs, and forget about the plans we made with our friends and accidentally leave them hanging. The key is how you respond to making those mistakes. But I'm not here to give you a lesson on responding to mistakes. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can relieve some of the pressure that the world has put on us today and make sure that you are in a good mental state. I'm going to tell you a little bit about sleep and why it is so important to our mental health and my strategies for getting enough of it. Sleep is so essential to our everyday lives and it allows us to be effective with our time. That is why it is so crucial to get the correct amount of sleep. To start, I'm going to give you a few facts about sleep as it pertains to our mental health. In an article by Kendra Cherry, she starts off with, the, with this quote, it is not a secret that sleep plays an important role in good physical and mental health. I wanted to start with this too, because it just shows us how related sleep and mental health are. That is not even up for a question. She then, in the article, goes on to explain how sleep levels and stress levels play a huge factor in each other. And this is the part I really wanted to inform you on. We learned that poor sleep can make it difficult to cope with any minor stressors. Things like school assignments, busy days at work, or accidentally forgetting the plans you made. Now, these kinds of stressors are things we are all usually able to deal with and fix them. But if you're not getting enough sleep, it becomes much harder to do so. Very often, we turn minor stressors into big problems and allow them to ruin our days. Have you ever taken a step back and realized it is because you are not getting the sleep you need to correctly deal with these kind of minor problems? The other, the other major mental health Cherry goes in to talk about that can stem from lack of sleep is depression. She talks about how not getting enough sleep it can help develop these symptoms for depression. So if you are feeling overly stressed or sad, always talk to someone and check yourself and consider how much sleep you're allowing yourself to get as it can greatly benefit or hurt our mental health. Now that you have a little bit of knowledge about sleep and how it affects our mental health, I want to get into what I do in order to ensure I am getting enough sleep that I need to get all my things done and make sure my mental health stays high. For me, to ensure I get enough sleep, I like to schedule my week out every Sunday before it starts. One thing that is important when I do this is accepting that not everything is going to go right on schedule, and that's okay. But at least having a rough draft of what your week is going to look like will help you get the assignments and jobs done on time, so you don't have to stay up all night and miss vital sleep hours. My goal is to get at least seven hours of sleep a night. This gives your body plenty of time to recover from previous day and get prepared for the day ahead of you. My personal schedule is to go to bed at midnight and wake up at 7. Some nights I get to bed a little earlier, some a little later. That is completely fine, as long as you are not being too dramatic with how far you go on the 7-hour mark. I understand not everyone will use the same hours. That is okay, too. What is important is making sure you get the full 7 hours. Lastly, in life, things do not always go how we want them to. There will be days that your schedule completely falls apart and you get way behind on some of the things you need to do. It is important to understand that sometimes you have to stop what you're doing at night and just go to bed instead of getting sleep deprived and stressing yourself out further. Your mental health comes first. That is the key. You can always make up an assignment and you can always work things out with your professor. As much as it may not seem like it is times, professors are on our side and they want us to succeed. If they can see you're putting an effort to get everything you need to done, they are as flexible as well. Our lives are busy. At this point in our lives, we are constantly have things on our plate that try to stress us out. Sleep is important to our mental health, as much as we may forget it at times. I hope this will help you remember that. And if you do not believe me, I encourage you to take a week to experiment. Take one week and do what you need to in order to get at least the seven hours of sleep a night. You will notice a difference. You will feel better and your mind will be in a much better place. All of our mental health are important. And I hope for all of you, you take the time to take the right steps to keep it in the green. Stay safe, Mountaineers.